Delighted to say joining me now, the winning jockey of the Edison Godolphin Mile is Paul Hannigan on a horse that I know came into this particular week with a great deal of expectation on his shoulders, soft falling rain. Um, and you, you pulled it out today, even though it was at times uh, pretty hairy for you. Yeah, you know, I've been riding him out quite a lot and um, he's kind of improved every time I've sat on him. So I was pretty confident coming into today, although it was a very big day for him. Um, but uh, the race didn't quite go to plan. Uh, you, you, you were saying at one stage that you, you almost had to sit and suffer a bit out there. Yeah, you know, I had to sit and suffer. I thought they went, that they went very quick early on. You know, he, he's, he can be quite a keen horse and for him to be off the bridle, you know, that, that far out was, uh, you know, they must have been going quick. But um, I was always happy once I got him into a nice rhythm turning in. You know, he, fight, he, he fights hard. Well, he, he had to as well because it wasn't, it wasn't a gimme when you came outside the, the the lead horse? No, and I know the lead horse very well. He's very tough and genuine, and uh, I always thought it would, would be a battle to get past him, but I was always confident, you know, not too confident going a couple of furlongs. Um, but as I say, once, once I turned in the last furlong, he was always going to get on top. Your trainer at one stage said he thought he wasn't going to get there. He was, he was sitting and suffering in the stands when you were experiencing <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah, well, Mike, Mike said what was going through my head. You know, I'd gone two furlongs, and I, I couldn't really... Uh, say on camera, you know, what was going through my mind, but, um, you know, we got there in the end. And obviously this horse is showing so much potential. What do you think the optimum trip is now? I presume he's going to head up to Europe in any way and trip to Royal Ascot. What could be on the agenda? Um, I pro we'll probably have a board meeting when we get back. Um, nothing's really planned. Um, I'll speak to Sheikh Hamdan, but, um, you know, this, this horse could go back and trip as well. He's got a lot of speed, you know, although he was off the bride early on there. Um, he could drop back in trip, um, and he's, 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 he's just got a bit of class about him. And for you, obviously, much is made, obviously, that the new job and the people showing faith in you, to have a, a win at the Dubai World Cup meeting, presumably, is a, a significant moment in your career. Yeah, very much so. Um, you know, these, these is what you've, you've worked hard for all your life. Um, this is what it's all about, the big days. Very good people that's, that's helped me, um, you know, such as Angus Gold and Richard Hills, and, and I'm just delighted for Sheikh Camden. And you're going to be riding at m minus three at Yarmouth on Monday, is that the plan? Yeah, I think it's back down to earth of a bump on, on Monday. I'm at uh, Yarmouth for about five or six rides. And about five or six people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, well done. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much.